Hello! It's time for a donut challenge. Okay, what's that mean besides Mandy eating donuts? It does mean that, but it also means we're gonna try a national chain, a local chain, and my very own homemade brioche donut. First, why don't you watch how I made my two-day homemade brioche donut? Well, now that you know all the love and care I put into my donut, let's start eating. I'm gonna go with the national chain first. Note one, they don't have cinnamon sugar. Who knew? Felt like that was a very basic flavor. We are going to try their glazed donut. National chain. It's the largest out of all three. Not too much flavor going on there. Um, there's the sweetness from the glaze, and it feels really bready. No element of crunch, no element of hot, steamy, melty deliciousness. Not saying which one of these has that, but you know, this one does not. Okay, next up, local chain. Right away what I notice, it is cinnamon sugar, by the way, which is great. It is kind of huge. It is both small in circle, Right, like it's smaller than the national chain. A lot thicker than mine, a lot thicker. Learning how to talk without food in my mouth is hard. It has some more perks than the national brand did. This one is actually crunchier, which is really nice. They dressed it in cinnamon sugar when it was hot, so it was able to form like a crusty, a crusty um, exterior, which is definitely a plus. You like those different textures when eating something. Otherwise, it's plain and boring. A downfall of this donut, like it's so thick that the ratio of that nice crunchy exterior that it had going for it gets lost in all the middle part. Like if they just cut down on their dough, like they didn't roll it as thick, then it'd be better. Okay, so now it's my turn. Number one, it goes to the donut hole. That's the best part. Like screw buying donut holes, yours comes with it, you made it. So good. It's so delicious. It's hot, it's buttery, it's airy and springy, and the ratio between the cinnamon sugar crust and the inside buttery springy dough is perfect. These donuts start to suck too if they sit around on a shelf all day. But guess what? They came straight from my fryer. So they're amazing. National brands, they need to make money. There's so many of them. They have to have a tried and true formula that anybody can do and is pretty bland so everyone can like it because there's not anything really to hate about it. It's just, there's not anything to really like about it. It has what I would say on the spectrum of love in food, zero love, zero love in food. It's literally just making it, we need money. Okay, then we have the local store who's doing a good job. Like they definitely increased in tastiness from the national brand, but the truth is homemade is always the best. I mean, you went from, th this local store may not have to make thousands of donuts a day, but it still has to probably make 200 donuts a day. We had to make six or 12 donuts and that's it. And we got to put all our, of our love and attention and you get to actually turn the donuts perfectly every single time because that's how they proof better inside the oil. And no one would do that except for you. And maybe you wouldn't, but I would. <laughs> and you should too if you make my brioche donut recipe um, because it's 100% worth it and your family will thank you so much. My homemade donut recipes inspired for my time in fine dining at a little place called Per Se, which if you don't know, was one of the top restaurants in the world. Uh, when I worked there, it was number six. And they taught me how to make the best donuts and fry them perfectly every time. So what's awesome is you also can do this at home. You don't have to be a fancy pastry chef. You could just be you, but trust me, read the recipe first, look over it. And if you have any questions, I'm on all social media. So just DM me, I'll walk you through the process. It's worth learning how to do, I promise. I love eating food on camera, apparently. I'm gonna get better at 
not talking while eating. But besides that, I love these videos. I don't know about you guys, but I do. So if you could like it, comment, that would be great. And let me know what else you wanna see. Thanks for watching. Bye.